Trees, 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 trees. I still also have yet to do my 100 subscriber video, so yeah. That's great. Really, uh, keep it on that. I had a whole plan for it, too. And I'm gonna do it. But, um, I'm already at 150 subscribers. So thank you for that, guys. I really do appreciate that. All the newcomers. By the way, if you're pe if you're if you came here after the um, 100 mark, I was gonna do a 100 subscriber celebration video, but I have yet to get to it. Oh my god! So now I'm just gonna combine the 100 and 151 into one big old video. So yeah, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. Thanks for all the messages and stuff and suggestions. Keep it up. Just tell me what I, you want me to do, and I will obey your commands. All these mods I've been doing, they'd be really great if I if you haven't completed the um, Sunset Sp Sarsaparilla quest Staying yet. Low. Oh, look at all these. Alright, there's just money in those. I'm not even gonna check. Guess the parts are upstairs. That's fun. I like that. It's a little nice touch. It's pretty funny. It's hilarious. I'm laughing inside. That's how funny it is. Look at all the stuff. I saw that thing over there. Don't get antsy on me. Professor Dumbledore's log. Oh, come on. I don't know there's nothing in here. That's great. Oop. Professor Dumbledore. Oh yeah, oh dear. The possibilities, the study of the creatures of this place offer science are phenomenal. Though I've seen signs of a rivalry between two of the creature types here, the majority of them appear to live in harmony together. I'm curious, however, as to why creatures of such power are so relatively few in number. Is it due to limited space, though the adults are too large to make it through the exit past the gate? What about their young? I've seen no younger, smaller versions of any of the creatures here. Could there be a natural predator to creatures such as these? Though this place offers many possibilities. I suppose it's unfortunate about the deaths in my party so far. Their loss is unfortunate, but it's just the price one must pay for scientific achievement. Even though I'd rather concentrate on the study of this remarkable environment and its denizens, I suppose it would be best I take the time to improve on one of our weapons as our poor guard suggested. So, though some have lost their life here, I'm still fairly sure I can continue to sneak by them to observe without notice, but even so, there's always the chance of bad luck, so perhaps having a better weapon on hand just in case wouldn't be a bad idea. It's a good thing that supply shack we found earlier had enough parts for my needs there. In any case, the information I found here at the office indicates that this place was contracted with three, three different companies to handle their wastes, and they seem to have tried to separate the dumps from each company into three different areas of this place. That leaves the area south of the entrance to explore. I wonder what awaits me there. Death. Horrible, excruciating death. Holy shit. You hear a horrendous roar echoing from the north of you. The stench of poop from your killing spree in the area seems to drawn out giant boss man. Referred to by Dr. Dumbass. Defeat the Deathclaw Gargantuan Dickface Monster. Alright everyone, pep talk. We all know what we came here for. To explore. Now that we explored, it's time to kill. After we kill, it's time to leave. Everyone good? Everyone good? I like it. Let's move. I just walked through that guy. I am Iron Man, I'm gonna get a can, and then make some soup. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh joy, we have to go all the way down here. This should be the the reading things and walking long distance mod. Okay, we just got into the uh, Southern Valley and we have met Giant King Kong number 18. You know what? I love getting text messages. I really should turn my phone off when I do these, shouldn't I? This is just nothing. Fuck me. Sure could use a drink. Well, there's plenty of radiation cast. Why don't you drink up? This is probably how they got stuck. I really shouldn't be walking through these things. You know. Plus there's a ton of radiation, so that never helps. Yeah, now they're all stuck. Great. Oh, what's up, boy? And I'm gonna cut this too. Okay, now I'm on the real road to destiny, so... Let's wait. See if anyone will catch up. Everyone caught up. Yay. Although it's nighttime, I don't enjoy that. Well, this is where we were before, where the, I was talking about the poo. dark. I don't like this. And it's even darker. And it's lighter. Apparently the uh, sun just doesn't work here. There's just a child. There's a giant child with a light switch and he just turns it on and off. Da -na 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 invisible walls that are and invisible are there. Everyone knows that you don't know where you're going, don't know where you're going. Everyone says, why didn't you cut this out? There's nothing going on. You're a dumbass. Hello there, how are you today? You must be fat. Fucking crikey. Rex or uh, Lily just knocked the shit out of that guy. Take your giant hand. What? What was it? What about the uh, thing that makes the weapon much more powerful? Well, I guess that was it. Uh, um... Apparently that's the whole quest, everyone. I just defeated Professor Giant Face, and yeah. Did I even get experience for that? I probably did. I'll check when I edit. But um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna stop. Put this together. So yeah, this has been. Valley of Giants. I hope you enjoyed me reading things and walking around for extended periods of time. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, so y'all, hope you enjoyed this, and this is Johnny McDingledong signing out. Oh, wait. Oh, my. Eat this. Okay, now Johnny McDingledong is signing out. Get him next time. Peace.